really playing at a high level. I think you all all look at them and say they're going to they're going to be very good down the stretch in February and March uh, because they have really good players. They have a really good coach. They got a great system, and um, they certainly showed that today. Brenda, John, the the, D, the shooting numbers and whatnot from Michigan State. How much of it was? Just really good execution versus defensive breakdowns on your part. Well, I mean, they got an awful lot of uh, the, the basket the layups. I mean, 62 percent. I mean, it, you know, it might have been a little bit closer game. Uh, Price came out and hit those threes to start the game, but they, you know, sometimes when there was two plays or something, all of a sudden the shot clock's going out off and they're laying it in because guys just went and did something. <laughs> I can't explain what they, what we do sometimes when we just leave a guy or two guys guarding the same guy, but um, I think a lot a lot had to do with just uh, Dawson. If there's a miss, he puts it in, so that's 50 percent, and um, he did a tremendous job of that. And we had some breakdowns, and then the, we, our transition defense was much better than last time, but they got away from us in the first half with a few breakdowns. Coach Denzel Valentine only had six points. Clearly, you guys were focusing on stopping him. Would you talk about that? Well, you time? know, but he makes so many other things. He made us have to change what we're doing. You, you put he's six feet five or six. He gets in the ball screen. He sees everything, and we had to change the matchup. He was going to pick us apart um, because he, uh, of the way he sees the floor. This is rare that you have a big guard like that that can see the way he sees and then shoot threes. So uh, he had six points. They had eight. So sometimes it's not him scoring the points, it's the assist or the assist that leads to the assist. Nick? John, uh, over here. Uh, Jordan and Glenn and Nick were back tonight. Mm -hmm. Nick and Glenn, you look at those guys, is it bittersweet for you at all? I mean, you're in the situation you're in here and they're supposed to be juniors. I mean, yeah. is that a tough, I mean, just with everything that's going on here? I, I think when you, uh, when you look at them, really happy for them. And I hope they have incredible long NBA careers. But uh, it gets an opportunity for some freshmen to play early. Um, but it wasn't the plan. But when the plans change, and we have to adjust. So uh, I'm not bitter. It is sweet for them. But we just got we just got to retool again. You know, I, I was thinking about that today, Nick, because it's like you're building this house and you're building this house, and then all of a sudden, you know, uh, the I beam. You know, you have to replace the I beam, or all of a sudden the screws are coming loose, and you have to sort of rebuild it again. So it's part of what college basketball is right now. Over here on the left with Chris. Do you need Wilhelm to be as aggressive as he was to start the second half, given what's on the floor? Yeah, you know, you got in foul trouble again with them, and that's really a thing is uh, tough for us uh, right now. That um, and, and God bless our guys that come off there, but he's he. Uh, I love the way he came out in the second half, and uh, but he couldn't be aggressive in the first half. He only played a few minutes. So we did do our, you know, you know, guess our rule play, play with three fouls there, just to try and keep it close, closer. But it is, it's tough. And he, he still, he still learning on the fly too. For all the good things he's done, he's learning every day and a lot of other things that he makes choices on. Just going back over to Brenda. With everything the way it's played out this year, you know, everything's kind of prefaced with ifs and buts. It seems like when it's talked about the team, yeah. the, the actual guys that are playing. You know, yeah. how, how do you think they're dealing with? I think the Illinois game hit them really hard because that was one of those games, like the Wisconsin game a couple of years ago, where you, you got it and then you got to rebound from it. But I think they're dealing with it fine. I think that they're, um, you know, understanding it's a grind when you're playing 40 minutes a game or 35 minutes a game, and you got to get ready for that next game. And uh, so there's a little bit more on them, but I, I, for them and for our future, it's the best thing that they're going to get better. This is this is preparation. Right for them to for the rest of the season and next year, so I'm sure they would like to believe it or not, as freshmen play maybe 25 minutes a game, get a little bit of a rest. But I think they'll uh, they'll embrace the, this uh, the environment they're in much more as they grow older. I'm over here with Sam right in the middle. Talking about Rock and Aubrey, uh, Muhammad said he notices that the more tape, you know, the more minutes he's played, the more he's on tape, and he sees the defense adjusting a little bit. Yeah. How do you? get them to adjust to those adjustments that the defense has shown them? You know, it, it, I don't think it's about that right now. I think it's about, you know, when you're catching the ball, catch it with balance, have good shot fakes, go right. Uh, they, have, they do have uh, go to your right or go to your left, have a move and a counter move offensively. But then defensively, we got to continue to, you'll, you won't see they, that first dunk that they got with Costello. You haven't seen that, that particular action. It's a horns action, it's a wide horns action. 
We haven't seen it in two or three in two or three games, and they do a little bit of we touched on it, but boom, nobody was there. To, it's that consistent. I got to be focused on defense every minute, and that's what's been, been difficult for Muhammad and all the young guys. And we, so we give up the E. That's why the 62 percent. There's just easy baskets that we give up when we. It is it is tough. All the action that that they run and they're really good and they have great passers. So when you have great passers, you can run just about anything you want to run, and they do. Right in front with Steve. John, Jared Ball is trying to come back, trying to work, mm -hmm. get himself back in the lineup for you. you got four games left. What if, what are the chances <coughs> we will see him before the season? Over? That's tough to answer because, you know, I, I, you all know I am not a doctor. Uh, but the, uh, I just, he, he's been trying, but it hasn't gone as well as we hope as far as trying to get him ready for any of these games. And um, you just don't know if the soreness that comes with the injury is part of not working out or could be it's still injured. So we're trying to figure it out, and we take the, they're doing the, the, the typical type of examinations uh, to see where it is. But uh, I'm not real confident we'll see him real soon, but it could be. It could be. It could be a day where all of a sudden he feels great. Come on over here with Rod in the middle. John, with the switching defense, was that just kind of a you, you knew the zone 100% wasn't going to work? You're yeah. trying to, to surprise them with some things, but with a veteran squad, they've seen – just yeah, they, they, they make around. adjustments, and I mean, they, 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 they said, when you have a team like that, I mean, they got the the two senior uh, Trice and Dawson, the two seniors, and then and then Valentine and Costello and Schilling, they've been they've been through some wars, and they make some really good adjustments. And a little point guard is a good player as well. Forbes is a, is a junior. They just have seen it all, and so uh, if we went toe to toe with them, that wasn't going to work. But uh, at the same time, and while we're showing them different looks, there's a good chance. They are either going to make a really great read, or we're going to have, you know, some a drop off somewhere. So it's a it's a class a class game of the team that's really well coached, got great experience, right? Taking advantage of a team that's still trying to figure a lot of things out. Got time, time. Well. Got time for a couple more. We'll go on first. Um, you guys have made a number of comebacks this year, even if the ones have yeah. been finished. And today was it just too hard to lead, or did you we were going to have again? to do everything right. We we're going to have to make every foul shot. We we're going to have to get a couple of offensive rebounds, uh, and uh, we couldn't do that. We couldn't do that. I, there were a couple of times I thought we, could, you know, we got a good stop, and uh, but that first half lead, what, while it was not insurmountable, we've done that before. Um, it's tough against these guys just because they they get their second half chance opportunities and they didn't get you noticed as the league was there they didn't get wild and crazy with the ball they didn't turn the ball over I mean they were like there they got a plan and they got a mission and they they're experienced and they executed till they they got a good shot they didn't they didn't help us get back and they didn't beat themselves right the problem with Hunter. Coach, I apologize, not a Michigan-centric question, but you've seen Michigan State without Tom Tom as the point guard starter, and now yeah. he's there. Would you explain what he brings to the court for Michigan State? I, I, yeah, I haven't watched them in, uh, enough. I, I, he's just a good player. He really is. Maybe he just brings a little bit more rest to some, some guys as well that he's out there. He's a good player, but, uh, you know, I think you, you've watched them play this year. This team has just been, I, my impression, they've been trying to find themselves and find a role, whether it was Tum Tum or somebody else. They are just now set in significant roles. He's got his rotation off the bench. Everybody's healthy. Um, that's their, That was a pretty high-level team. And I, I told uh, Valentine and Trice that was as good a guard play as I'd see come in here between those two really did a great job. And, but Dawson is in an elite level as far as scoring over people. That's. He, he played it at, at, as high up in Chrysler as anybody's ever played since I've been here. He's, he's, he really did some great things. We'll so they're a good team, but Tom Tom, I'm sure he has his time. You have to ask Tom that question. We'll go with Jennifer and then with Nick. Yes. John, what kind of positives do you take from this game? Well, I think we'll, when we look at the video, we'll find that, that, that we did some things that we've been working on getting, whether it's just for us to assist right now, it's just difficult. So when we see Aubrey had a couple of assists, that's, that's like really good. <laughs> Right, and, and so there's just us seeing the court, seeing the game, understand what the strategy is, is all good. Now, we don't just pick it up like this, like most freshmen would do it, uh, but we are getting better at it. So um, we'll try and find every silver lining that we can in this. 
last one with Nick Chen with, with Zach is, you know, Harris is out, Derek's out, he and Spike are the yeah. you know, wolves there. Is Zach trying to do too much? Is he, do you see that from him? There, I think there's a couple of times he really wants it really badly, and he's got to be careful of that. He understands it, but I think he's grown in other ways too. Uh, but he is, um, he got to, I think what's really going to benefit him now is he goes back and, and when the season is over, he's going to look at his game, he really work at parts of his game that uh, he knows he, he's got to get better at. But, you know, there's probably some things, but you know what, I'll take that, that he wants to, he wants to make plays sometimes because there's, you look around and, and who, who else is going to make that play? But, is it a little bit like when Tim was a sophomore? And he yeah, I, there was, there, yeah and, and he's had some of the same frustrations that Tim has had. And so that's a good thing to have. Tim wanted it so badly, he tried to do too much. I think it's good quality for him. Thank you, Coach. All right, thanks. Thank you.